just walked 463 steps. I'm knackered, but ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the beautiful Florence. Okay, so to give you guys context of where we are, show you the map quick. This is the map of Florence. As you can see, everything is around this area here. And our hotel is marked just there. So like the bridge that's really popular is there. The most famous museum here is there. The Galileo Museum is there. This place is meant to be really famous. It's got the tomb of Michelangelo and stuff like that. That's there. The bell tower is literally one road up here. Everything is so close. So we're gonna go and explore. Let's go! Don't we all trust scientists that tell us it's oxygen we need to breathe? Put faith in the dawn. Okay guys, so just a quick update. We are standing outside, I believe it's called the Diffusi Museum. The Fusey Museum, basically this museum has like the most famous iron. It's got like Michelangelo, I can't remember some of the other artists. Caravaggio. Caravaggio, don't know. But basically the queue for it is absolutely enormous, okay? It's so long and it's January, so it's like the quietest time of year here, but it's still so long. So what you can do in a lot of the Italian galleries and Italian monuments basically, is you can book it online for like an increased fee of like two euros, but you completely skip the queue. So what we We've decided to do is we've decided to come back here not tomorrow but the morning afterwards where we can book online and we can sort out the tour and then we'll surpass all the queues and it won't be as busy um, and we'll still get to see it all but we're not gonna have to wait in a queue for like sort of an hour or so and we want to make the most of our time so we're gonna go straight to the bell tower from here and we'll see you guys in just a second Sharing more shit than the dealers, they try so Quick update on what's going on. Basically, we just clocked on that we've come to Florence on a Saturday. So the entirety of what feels like Italy is in Florence. It's a very, very small place. And as a result of that, it means that it feels incredibly busy in all the places. So what we decided to do is we just walked around and we just took in all the beauty of Florence. Genuinely, I recommend that. If you do decide on coming to Florence, just take some time to walk around because every building is remarkable. Every building is outstanding and it is absolutely gorgeous. And we've just had a lovely couple of hours having a walk, but with that being said, we do want to see all the things that we were meant to see, we just haven't had that opportunity. So we are going to go book our tickets online tonight, and then not tomorrow, because tomorrow we're going to Pisa, um, to see the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Um, but the next day, in the morning, we're going to go and check out all of the things we haven't done yet by getting our like pass and obviously being able to get in there and in and out within kind of like a couple of hours to like a few of the museums and the bell tower as well. That's the plan anyway. So we will catch up with you guys after dinner and I'll run through the day's plans tomorrow in a bit. Bye, bye guys. Bye bye. See you in a bit. Bye bye. Do I, do I look stupid to you? Cause we all look stupid to me. Good morning guys and welcome to our second day in Florence. So we are just walking to the train station now and making our way to the wonderful Pisa and we are gonna go up the Leaning Tower of and it should be really really fun, we're very very excited. Yeah, so we will see you guys when we get there. Let's go to Pisa. Ah, 
And we have arrived, ladies and gentlemen, just behind me. It's a leaning tower of Pisa. Beth, thoughts? It's definitely leaning. We, we read an article that yeah. said the lean was apparently getting less leany. Um, but we're getting here and no, it's definitely leaning. It's a remarkable um, land thing, whatever it is. Landmark, yeah. It's beautiful, the church as well that's right outside it is absolutely fucking gorgeous. But we are basically gonna go inside now, we're gonna try and get tickets. We looked online, um, tickets weren't available, so they're uh, just obviously on the day. So we'll go queue up, hopefully grab some tickets and go to the top and get a nice little view. But yeah, in a bit. Okay guys, so we have just finished up at the Leaning Tower of Pisa and the surrounding cathedral areas. Um, it was amazing up there. It's really, really cool. We really, really enjoyed it. Um, I need to stop saying really, really. I say really, really a lot because I'm always being hyperbolic. Lovely. Lovely, 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 lovely yeah. Thanks, Beth. Sorry. Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, I can't stop saying really, really. It was truly incredible up there. We really enjoyed it. Not really, really, just really enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, we had a great, great, great time. But yeah. It's been really, really cool. Pisa, you've been amazing. Thank you to everybody on Instagram that voted in this poll. I'm so pleased that you did choose Pisa because it's been much, much better than I expected. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And we'll see you guys when we get back to Florence. Okay, what's up guys? Um, I have just arrived back in Florence. Um, Beth is standing in the queue for the Effusi Gallery. Um, initially, we were gonna go into this gallery uh, tomorrow morning, get up really early and go in before we leave to go to Venice. But it's closed tomorrow. We're gonna to head into the Ifuzi Gallery now. I will let you know our thoughts when we get back, and I will see you guys in just a few seconds. Has the world come to, to think we care for the likes of you? Get your heads out my pocket, shores deep and deep. Guess one nasty piece of work are you working on next? Get your heads off my chest, your little love set. Pretty little. Okay, so we have just finished up at the Afuzi Gallery, which was amazing. There was loads of famous art there, right, Beth? Well famous. I don't, I don't know that much about art, but Beth tells me it was famous, so we saw some really cool ancient art. Um, it was amazing, we really enjoyed it. It was six euros per person, so 12 euros each because we're under the age of 26, so that was really good. And what we're doing now is we're walking through the busy streets of Florence, as you can so they're very small. Um, and we are heading towards the bell tower, which we can go to the top of and hopefully get a lovely view of Florence before we leave. Lovely view. Um, but yeah, we're gonna do that and we'll see you guys hopefully with a lovely view at the top of a tower. Final four. Oh wow. Beth? Amazing. 
amazing. Okay, what is up guys? I am back from our evening in Florence. Um, just gonna give a quick overview and review of what we thought of Florence. So Florence was absolutely amazing. Um, it exceeded all expectation and for everybody on Instagram that you know was hyping it up and getting super excited and recommended me to go, I'm very, very grateful as Beth and I have had a wonderful time here. We really enjoyed going down to Pisa and getting the train. Definitely recommend that for anybody thinking of doing it. And that is one thing I will say about Florence. It is more expensive than the other Italian cities that we've been to. You can find cheap food and stuff, but if you're expecting to go out for a proper restaurant dinner, a nice meal as a couple, expect to spend a little bit more than you would elsewhere. You're not going to be able to do it for 20 euros. It's going to cost you 30, 40 euros. It is what it is, but it's a beautiful city and it kind of, it's, it's understandable as to why that is. The food, obviously, in most of the Italian places we've been has been just incredible. So at least I suppose if you are going to go out for a meal here, you know for sure you're going to get bang for your buck. It's going to be good stuff. Uh, I think the entire trip has cost them, um, Beth and I, 380 pounds so that is basically 190 pounds each um which is such good value again we you know we're in somewhere that's really expensive we've done everything that we've wanted to do and there are ways that you can cut down and if you know time it right you can do things better my main recommendation for florence is firstly be prepared to walk also buy everything online guys it looks a little bit dodgy on the websites i completely get that but go to the legit websites on google and buy your tickets online you pay like normally two euros or four euros extra and you skip the queue now we are here out of tourist season right and we were still queuing for like 45 minutes guys if you're here in tourist season it's going to be so busy book online and skip that queue it's so worth the two euros to do that and that's been for every italian place we've been to you can book online and then save time queuing okay so definitely 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 do that my biggest recommendation that i can make Again, thank you so much, guys. The support's been unreal. I'm so very, very grateful, and I can't express to you guys enough how amazing this last month's been. But yeah, I will see you guys next week. All my love.